Oh, oh no. no! No, I'm gonna have to fix that. Oh, dang. All right, so I did, I gotta admit guys, there's a bit of a blunder in yesterday's vlog. A couple of spots where everything just blacks out. You can still hear the audio and I do think, oh, hang on a sec, have a look at this. Yeah. That would be cool to travel across Canada and. It looks like you're there's in that thing too. Well, they're tough, they're old, but two parts specific again. Whereas a school bus, a little bit more availability in parts, or a schoolie, a short bus. Anyhow, yeah, back to the thing about the vlog. I, I can honestly say the only thing I can assume that it is, is because of jumping back and forth between iPhone footage and that point and shoot camera footage. I don't know what happened. When I watched it after it rendered, everything was fine, so... These things didn't happen when I had my Canon. These things didn't happen when I had Hef's Canon. But bear with me until I get another lens. Just park right over here. Until I get another lens, it's, it could happen. And I'll do my best to make sure it doesn't. But now, we're going to go check out something new and different. Kind of vloggy for you guys. We're also RCing, but... Yeah, let's just go show you. Oh, definitely probably going to be some wind noise here, guys. But, we're going to check out another steel bridge. Third steel bridge in three days. These are the tracks heading north out of St. Thomas. Got the dogs out for a walk, fighting each other. Not a bad day, a little on the chilly side today. If you say like just below zero, yeah. just below freezing. So for you guys down in the States, uh, just below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. But yeah, there's not a whole lot of these uh, trestles that are still function in use here in town. Like what, two of them still get used? Yeah. This one and the one over Athletic Park. But yeah, there you go. We're gonna go look at a train trestle for you guys today. Okay, so I'm not crossing this trestle entirely. Look, there's no handrails. This uh, could probably end up actually if you get caught out here doing this could result in a fine even though how many times when i was younger did we cross these things on our bikes with no rails on the side and just right across like it was nothing and just so i don't I wind up in any trouble myself i don't want to go any further than this that and i've got a thing for heights and if you got a thing for heights don't look down there's a trail that actually runs down this whole side, and that's where we're going to go. There you go, this is one of the remaining functioning trestles here in town. You can tell, look at the rails, it's still nice and shiny. We actually, when our kids, had a stand-by me moment. If you know your 80s movies, stand-by me. We were probably about halfway across the trestle, and we seen a train come around that corner down there. They don't go very fast at this point. When we got across, they were honking and blaring their horn at us and everything. Oh yeah, scary good times. Here's the view looking straight down as you walk. And I highly recommend, do not come out here anybody. Okay, I'm not recommending to anybody to, to, to be out playing on train bridges. It's dangerous. Those trains, they can't stop. They're not going to stop. And now when they're crossing these things, they're bouncing, they're jumping. Not the trains, the bridges. It's very shaky and can not throw you off the bridge, but throw you off your balance at least. So play it safe. Safe, don't play on these bridges. Stay the heck away from them. We got more of these in town though. So we'll be showing you more of them. Right, let's have us a look at the underside. Used to come hang out here when we were teenagers and just pass time, literally. Look at all the garbage and everything down through here. You'd think there'd be community cleanups or something. Let's go right underneath and have a look. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 
Look at all the garbage. The great big cracks in the foundation stones. Whatever you call these. I'm trying to get my phone up high Pretty enough. Neat. <laughs> That's a cool shot. We're looking right down all the way across through here. We're down across through all of here. Very cool. I think this is probably at least getting close to 100 years old, if not mm -hmm. older. I remember when Steve and I used to come down here. What but uh, I don't think this crack was ever so big. Where did it used to be? Oh, yellow. Like. Is that uh, just the original coating flaking off? Yeah. I don't know, but this Ace guy sure put his name around here. Age. Ace. Back out doing? from underneath. Here's another good shot, eh? Gotta love these old bridges. Cool to have that piece of property right there. Uh, yeah. It would be. I was almost thinking that's Ethan's, but his is back a bit further. Now underneath the trestle, looking back up. And across to the other side. That's not cool. We have like one, two, three, four of these bridges in town, I think. Three or four. I see our Craig way over there playing on a plateau of rocks and stuff. And his truck is out in the water. <laughs> Can you get it? Right. Is it okay? Yeah. Oh, I thought maybe it died on you. Just showing the vlog this uh, angle of the bridge here. The vlog. You guys are awesome. I like showing you guys this stuff. Ooh, I see a mean hill climb over there. You guys see that? I wonder if that's somebody's property or not. It's actually probably the guy who owns this area. Yeah. The guy that uh, Ethan and his father know. He knows that we come down here to RC, so he doesn't have a big problem with it. He just doesn't want to see groups and groups of teenagers partying down here like, like back in the day. <laughs> Hey, you don't happen to know the name of this trestle, do you? Because I know the, the one that's missing is the Pierre Marquette. There's the Sunset, which is also the MCR train bridge. And then the one over Suey, I don't know its name. But they are related to whatever train line used it, I guess. Wow, this whole area that we call Suicide Trails... Somebody's done a friggin' awesome job of cleaning it right out. So it's actually usable again. Very awesome. Over here we got a Craig RCing. But I'm gonna put the phone away and do a little RCing myself. Oh. <laughs> There's Ethan's crawler. <laughs> Steaming. <laughs> and now I get to repeat it all. <laughs> so you guys, you see this hill next to this thing, next to this ditch? I was just saying to Craig, and you asked the old timers in town that were around in those days, this used to be called Suicide Hill. It was a little bit steeper. There's a cardinal up at the top. Cardinal and a blue jay. Anyhow, there's a post. There used to be a post right in the middle on top of the hill. And I remember it being more straight up rather than curving off to the side. If you could ride your, your bike, dirt bike, motorcycle, up and around the post and back down, it was considered suicide because it was deadly. And now we're gonna do it with the trucks. If you come closer, it's probably getting a better job. Yeah. This motor's been oiled. It shouldn't hurt it as much if I just take my time going up. No! Oh, oh no. no! No! I'm gonna have to fix that. Oh dang!
I'm still climbing. Thank you. Please tell me it's recording all of it. <laughs> yeah, it is. It was a Disney risk. Okay, well, I can't get up to the pine. There you, there you go. go. Yeah, that made it up, up there. and around the oh, pine. Okay. Is that what the challenge should be? Good luck coming down there. Didn't need luck. <laughs> you should let me have a look at that there, Craig, before you quit driving it away. That was brutal. I am. The deadbolt did it with no rollovers that went up and around that baby pine. Pretty impressive. So believe it or not, after that vicious rollover, the dingo is perfectly fine. <laughs> the cantilevers are a little loose, but not like any kind of loose that would impair its ability to drive. And the deadbolt did it too. <laughs> so there you go. Suicide hill challenge. Go up around that baby pine at the top and come back down. You choose your own path. Special treat for you guys. Ethan saw us do it with the trucks. He's gonna try it on the quad. I might just take a little walk up at first. Yeah, pick a good line. It'll take Craig a minute or two to get up there anyway. That uh, cardinal keeps buzzing around, eh? You don't have to go around the pine though. <laughs> It's a good sized hill. Yeah, Got to be careful guys. Don't go in there, it could be chuds. Cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Be careful. <laughs> Told him if he has to bail, cover his squash, protect the melon. Oh, easy. I think that was too easy for you. <laughs> yeah, it's no longer Suicide Hill. <laughs> that was a little too easy for him to do. This, it used to be really vertical, this hill. Like you had fun doing that or something. Yeah. Like it is nothing. Watch out for George. <laughs> there you go. Now I gotta get down here somehow. So yeah, the original hill would have actually had more of a steepness like this. Like it was, it was a vert, it was a vertical. Whereas this, you can see where it's been worn down. And there's what's left of this. It's not even a trail. You can tell nobody uses this side anymore. Ooh, that's slippery. Yeah, I think the original hill was more like this kind of angle rather than this. Anyways, I get to make my way back down. Oh, I don't got no brakes. <sighs> Holy. One final last look up at the trestle before departing the woods. It is a messy, messy day down here still, guys. Oh my goodness. I'm like on 
just barely any walkway there to stay from slipping and falling and that stuff. Okay. Cool. Well, over at Craig and Tiff's house, just got done an amazing beef roast dinner. Amazing job. And now, this is what I'm up to. I am playing Lego with Lolo. Or not Lego, well Lego and Play-Doh. And they both just happen to go with Lolo. Potato Lego Lolo. Oh, you actually gave them eyes. Look, Look at that. They're googly eyes. Yeah. That's cool. And your little Michelin man's got uh, googly eyes too. <laughs> His name oh is Steve. Steve? Steve. Not Steve, but Steve. Steve. Eve. Okay, I gotcha. Steve. <laughs> Okay. Alrighty then. We'll leave Lolo to his. We'll leave Lolo to his uh, mischief. That was an awesome dinner. I was trying to record a closing clip from over at Craig's house, and of course the iPhone strikes again. I don't know. It's just iPhone 5s. Maybe it's just that small of a battery. Anyhow, I wanted to like thank him on camera right there at his own place, and then the iPhone died. So. Thank you, Craig, Tiff, Joshua, and Logan for having me over for such an awesome, perfectly normal beast dinner. <laughs> nice long day. I hope you guys enjoyed that explore, sharing the train bridge with you guys, and a little bit of the suicide trails in there, and crazy Ethan on the four-wheeler. Good job, buddy. That was pretty cool seeing you on there. Gonna have to get you to introduce my nephew Joshua to four-wheelers show him what those are all about he's never really had a chance to learn anything about him so i think it would be pretty cool pretty fun as for the vlog end of the night end of the vlog does that sound about right sounds right to me please do me a world of favors subscribe if you're not yet subscribed like if you like today's video or click like if you like today's video and share the video if you do that kind of thing trying to get this vlog the daily random vlog out there and maybe through just even more views and stuff, we can get making some funds to do some traveling and also put some work towards the random audio video project. Most of that's going to be a lot of hustle and footwork on my behalf. So, but traveling will always be cool. Or if you guys don't have any idea, if you take somebody who's been trapped in a one town their whole life, that's dreamed of seeing so many different corners of this planet, and then you finally let them go and see that, you are going to see the most natural reactions. You are going to see such a side of it that's not shown by people who might be there on a regular basis or grew up traveling around the world. It's not as special. I don't know. Maybe it is a special. But to me, I know I'm going to be able to bring you guys something freaking amazing when I do get to do my traveling. Anyhow, think positive, right? I can dream. I know that I'm a dreamer, and I know I'm not the only one. I know I didn't say that exactly right, but you get the message. Dream while it's still free. Think positive. Stay positive. Keep a smile on your face. We'll see you here tomorrow. And just in case you're watching, hi, Artie. I miss you, and I love you. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night. Vlog over.